Hello and welcome. This is Just Nigeria. Coming up, mending cracks in the wall. We explore why attacking the police may be dangerous to the Nigerian psyche. Plus, worthy sacrifice. Mother abandons thriving career to care for child living with Down syndrome. Also, dismantling barriers. Women break into South Africa's white male-dominated fishing industry. And... My name is Iolua Boyeji. Check me out. The investor providing payment platform that empowers Africans to do business globally. Thank you for joining us here on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. And here on the program, we monitor the stories making the rounds on social media. I'm Wali Fakile. Let's start with our top story. Police is your friend, the lifelong motto of the Nigeria Police Force. But attacks on police officers and infrastructure across the country, especially this year, suggest that this friendship with the public may have become strained. In this report, I examine how we got here and the way out. Have a look. A police officer on duty and a truck driver out of line, egged on by bystanders. What follows next looks like a scene from a Nollywood flick, but it's not. The officer is now out of the hospital and thankful for life. He tells me he's been in service for more than 30 years and due to retire later this year. He came down from the vehicle and told me to come down from, the, from his, his vehicle. And I told him, Why would, how would I come down from your vehicle? You hit an Okada down. It was God that revived the Okada man. The vehicle you hit, that one is also parked at the station, the Okada and the Camry. How will you now expect me? To leave you. So the boy now noticing that I am not having the intention of coming down from a vehicle, he became violent. From there now, he now moved to a nearby uh, yes, beer parlor and removed bottle that he will stab me. I told him, I have not done you anything. Why will you stab me? I have not done you anything. A statement from the Lagos State Police Command says a manhunt is on for the driver. It's the same tale of unjustified aggression for this officer. He had tried to apprehend a driver for breaking a traffic law. The encounter went viral on social media. He keep on hitting me on my chest with two palm open. Me. He got to say when he struggled my shirt, my onto my neck, hitting me to his vehicle. Even I dodge him. Hitting me to another vehicle. When I got to a stage, I now see that this guy is after that rifle. I now remove the rifle from my hand. I hang it firmly. These attacks are just some out of the many police officers on duty have suffered in recent times. What is shocking is the brazenness of the assault and their company human toll. Since January, there have been more than 11 attacks on police stations in the eastern part of the country. A report from this online newspaper claims 18 policemen were killed across Nigeria last week. Behind these crime figures are real families, devastated and left struggling to make sense of it all. My husband, we are there in, in a checkpoint that ungone men attacked them and killed my husband and Miss Anayo. Deadly attacks on the police did not just start. This widow is still traumatized from one of such assaults by Boko Haram in 2012. My husband treated me as a queen. We live happily, we lack nothing. Not until when this broke, because I, they even shot him after his day, three months I was hospital. That is what I delivered because I was pregnant. The Nigeria Police Force was established in 1930 as the primary law enforcement agency of the country. The powers and duties of the force are conferred on it by the constitution and other enactments like the Police Act. The Nigeria Police Act 2020 says the primary functions of the police as backed by the constitution include the prevention and detection of crimes, maintenance of law and order, and protection of lives and property, amongst other duties. 
but how have the police functioned in these roles to date and are they equipped enough to discharge these responsibilities? We have issues with the uh, number of policemen that have been recruited to perform this function. And then we also have issue with uh, assignment of so many Nigerian police uh, officers to office political holders to the detriment of protecting the lives of uh, individuals. Uh, and most of the things stem from the fact that they don't have the wherewithal. They don't have the, the technology sometimes even to carry out the basic responsibility of detecting crimes and even investigation. Uh, that's why most times they engage in violation of people's rights. In spite of all the in inadequacies of the Nigeria police force, they still remain one of the core pillars holding this country together. Police in Nigeria have not always come out smelling like roses when their activities are x-rayed. There have been documented cases of alleged abuse of their constitutional powers and blatant human rights violations. That day, I was at our park when they arrived. They pointed at my car, asking who owned it. I identified myself and they hired me to take them on a round trip to Magbo area of Ugusta. I went to ask them for the fare. They asked me how much was it and I said 4,500 Naira only. They told me, shouldn't I have known that the service was for government and there will be no payment? I asked how possible and they laughed at my audacity. From there, I was detained and tortured. Sad tales like this ones may have propelled the nationwide NSAS protest in 2020. The demonstrations began amid calls for government to disband the now defunct special anti-robbery squad SARS, a tactical unit of the police. The protests quickly grew and morphed into wider calls for police reforms. The NSAS protests and subsequent demonstrations were quashed by security agencies, but the mistrust between the police and people seemed to have deepened. So, is there any connection between how the NSAS protest ended and the surge in attacks on police officers across the country? What you saw in Nigeria is in line with a new paradigm shift and a new global practice that is calling for improved responsiveness and accountability from the police. You know, there may be all that undertone by some criminals in order to create fear in the minds of the uh, security agencies, you know, so that they will not in any way come out to protect lives and property. It's long years of impunity by both government officials, security agents, and even citizens and young years of mistrust. The Nigeria police is peopled by 371,800 police officers expected to cater for more than 200 million Nigerians. These numbers are a reminder of how under police the country is. But then, would these attacks on police officers mean for Nigeria's security architecture? Continued attack on police formations has dire consequences for Nigeria. The danger in doing that is that these men and women constitute your first line of defense. And when you take them out of the equation, you expose yourself to dangers and to violence that might be greater than the kind of violence that you can exert yourself. After the NSAS protest ended last year, Nigeria almost descended into a state of anarchy police officers were killed and some formations were attacked by thugs, causing policemen to stay off the streets for days. States like Lagos are still reeling from the chaos that followed suits. The feeling that the police sometimes go unpunished and victims left helpless is also telling, but there are legally backed channels of registering grievances and seeking justice. As a citizen, if you feel your right has been violated or even about to be violated, you can walk up even to the DPO of the police station in the area you are living. You can walk up to the area commander. You can walk up to the police public relations officer. You can walk up to the commissioner of police. You can send written petitions to either of these offices. You can go online and report via any of the social media handles to the complaint response unit. 
I have had, uh, had some cases. Uh, the only problem we have with uh, the issue of seeking remedy through judicial process here is enforcement. Security in Nigeria is still a major challenge despite the multiplicity of security agencies. Attacks on police and other law enforcement officers must stop unconditionally and the peaceable relationship between law enforcement and the people forged to nurture Nigeria's democracy for the common good. Wali Fakile, Just Nigeria. Indeed, police and society need to work together to foster collective progress.